Okay, hi Aries. I'm going to do your reading really quick. Okay, so it looks like you're coming out of a cold from maybe uh, feeling some kind of way regarding the love that somebody was trying to give to you. Maybe a water sign, a Capricorn, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, some of you could have been involved with the Sagittarius. You were feeling... Okay, so it looks like think you're coming out of the cold of a relationship with a water sign in which things were just really unbalanced and unstable. It looked like perhaps there could have been a third party situation with the Sagittarius. Yeah, it looks like there's three people in a union. Yeah, it looks like there's three people in a relationship, okay? Um, and for some reason, you're feeling that you're coming out of the cold with that because it looks like you're doing your dirty too. Um, it also looks like you're just really trying to figure things out in this relationship. Like, what is going on? Why are other people, why does he keep on getting these other people in our relationship? Like, what am I doing wrong that you just feel like you got to have these other people around? Okay. Also, there might be some traveling overseas or abroad for somebody. But it looks like you're coming out of the cold with it because someone else is offering you a cup of love. And it could be from a Sagittarius. But I still see you kind of stuck with the water sign, although you know that there is a third party, maybe another Aries, a Gemini, or a Sagittarius. Okay, we'll go outside as soon as I'm done, okay? All right. So there could be another Sagittarius or uh, another fire sign who is coming in as competition for you. And let me see, why are you coming out? It looks like you feel like you have victory over the situation, even though there's a third party, because you've been doing some spying, and you know that either this person is leaving the situation, they live, they live far, or there's something that ended. Okay, so you're coming out of a feeling left out in the cold by a water sign who's been acting a little reckless, and it's been kind of keeping you, getting you off your game. Right, there's a third party suit, but you and this uh, water sign get along for the most part. You know, you guys are friends, but both of you might see other people. This is like a polyamorous situation. Both, both of you might get down like that. Whatever the case is, there's a queen of wands here who's coming in reverse, and it looks like a water sign is dealing with the queen of wands and is actually um, like having an affair. So it looks like you're with somebody is torn between. Um, Two different women so here's the here, here's the fire energy and the water energy and uh, it looks like the the water energy is coming in with his back looking at somebody else but coming home to one person but looking at somebody else um, it looks like for uh, it looks like to me that you know the Queen of Wands doesn't leave a situation so so somebody is in a relationship with somebody who literally, you know, they do two and three at a time. And it just kind of looks like, you know, this, it might be fun for you because I see you feeling like you have victory over the situation. Let's see, why do you feel that way? You feel like you have, yeah, you feel like you have victory over the situation because you've maybe been doing some spying and maybe you know that some things went down. Um, also, some of you could be feeling left out in the cold about some type of end of friendship or something. Somebody, you know, created some boundaries and you feel victory over that situation. Um, it doesn't look like they're tripping at all um, about you feeling victory about that. Like they have moved on so much. Like you really need to stay focused on what's happening in your life and not look at no Libra. Aquarius or Gemini because um, they have like really moved on like with speed ahead and uh, looks like somebody is spying on somebody is like you're just wasting your time darling so it looks like maybe some of you guys are trying to make yourself feel better because you're not ready to let go of this relationship with this partner who loves you um, but also loves the other person <coughs> It looks like um, he might say something like, I love all my women. <laughs> he might say some shit like that. Or this is you, Aries. Um, 
So I see like maybe you trying to have new starts with people and it's not like going anywhere because you're not quite over the situation that you're in because it looks like it's financially stable for you. And it looks like you're going to fight, you know, you're going to fight for your stability, fight for your home, but it looks like you're just kind of losing, losing hope or whatever. Um, the other chick, she ain't tripping either way. She's not tripping off you and she's not tripping off him. She's tripping off somebody else. <laughs> that, ain't that how it always is? Okay. She wants somebody else who don't want her, but you know, it looks like she and, um, the Aries or the Aries partner, it's like, it's not a real love that they share, but they are not communicating right now. They might have gotten into it because of you, Aries. Maybe you started some havoc. Maybe you called somebody and confronted somebody. You might have ran somebody off and let them know that was your man and do not be coming over here in your territory and messing with your man. So let's see what happens from here. Some of you uh, just don't want to be single, but some of you, maybe a portion of you, it was effective. Somebody got kind of scared and they're like, well, I don't want to be alone, but I don't want to be alone that bad. Um, it looks like a third party in your marriage areas or in your significant relationship is letting go of an earth sign, perhaps. They're letting go of somebody. Somebody is letting go of somebody who's in a committed relationship, maybe somebody who's even married. Um, so, but so then I see a water sign coming back and offering you a cup of love again. And I feel like though, you know, even though this cup of love is not quite what it is that you want, there's something about this situation that makes you feel happy. But some of you have been thinking about being happy single. Uh, others of you are just not worried about the third party situation anymore. I mean, at all, you know, this is your man, this is your woman, you guys, neither one of you are going anywhere. Either one of you is going anywhere and you know this is just how it is but some of you feel like it's a lot of hard work being with the person that you're with right now um, but I see that you and this person are gonna have a new start okay and then it's like you guys cycle so first there's a new start and then and then the start ends okay then you patch things up um, and then this so it's like you're in this cycle so you guys are working like really hard to just go in circles but I see money there. So, but so I see a new start, and then you're thinking that you're going to move forward. You guys are on this new level, and then it just stops. What it is is that somebody is very uncomfortable with close levels of intimacy. So as they start getting close, they create distance because you know they really don't know. Um, somebody feels Aries like you're the devil, <laughs> and they want to get away from you. <laughs> they feel like, oh God, that's the devil. I want to get away from them. And they know that, you know, they should make a choice to get away from you, but um, they just don't. They, you know, they just kind of feel like they can't or they feel like it may be in their best interest legally to be with you. Okay. Some of you may, yeah, they feel like maybe there's some type of financial arrangement or some type of collaboration um, that you can help them with. So, yeah. So the Empress is a great card. It represents being a wife and a mother. So I see that you, some of you are actually married or you're going to get married with the person that you're with. And he's coming in with the magician reverse. There will always be other people in this relationship. And for some of you, that works. It's like, who cares about that? There's stability here. You know, it's like other people is a whole different subject. What's happening here, though, is stability and money and it's safe. And that's what I'm talking about. I see good news concerning money too. And uh, I do see you kind of crying at night. I mean, you know, you're just having the regular issues. Some of you um, are kind of crying over, shit, the hell did that come from? Oh, some of you are crying because you know about the other woman, okay? And you wish that the other woman wasn't there. You know, it's like you're not going anywhere because for some of you, this is your significant other. But you just kind of wish that the woman wasn't there. But she's going to be here. Like, this, this woman is not going anywhere. 
So some of you are going to be involved in a, you might even marry the person that you're with. You will be the main woman, you will be the wife, you will be maybe the person that he leaves things to. Um, but it looks like it just if somebody wants to get married to you, Aries, just make sure you you check all of dot all your I's and cross all your T's because it's like on one end they feel like um, somebody feels like you're the devil and um, they know that they should move on, but they feel like they're gonna get something out of this, maybe some type of business arrangement or financial arrangement. So. You know, they deal with it. But, I mean, if they want to marry you, I'm sure that they love you, right? Of course, yeah. If they want to marry you, you know, they most definitely love you. Um, it looks like somebody wants to get married to somebody long enough to where some type of business arrangement can be federally recognized. And then they plan on leaving. So, if you guys are dating any foreigners... Just be sure, uh, you know, be careful before you get married to them. Um, otherwise, let me see what else this could be talking about. I mean, I'm not going to take those. Let me clarify this. The sun, the sun. Some of you are still waiting um, to hear from a friend, a, uh, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It looks like there was a third party situation and it looks like people went into their separate. So look, this is the Queen of Swords. So this is a Libra. This is the air sign. This is a Libra, uh, an Aquarius or a Gemini. This could be your daughter. This could be a sister. Or this could be a friend. This could be a lover. But it's, uh, so it looks like there was a release, some type of liberation, though, from an air sign. Um, maybe who you felt a lot of nurturing with. This could be a mother. And maybe you guys had a falling out or something. The Five of Swords talks about feeling humiliated and defeated because the way that somebody wins is that they walk away because they feel like it's not a situation that they could win in. Um, and so I feel like... Some of you feel a, a really huge loss. Some of you do. And um, it could be with a Scorpio. So so it looks like a it looks like a Libra or an or a Taurus or a Leo left your life for a Scorpio or hmm, let me see here. So it looks like a situation about a marriage became illuminated. And, and it looks like it caused the death of a connection. So somebody became very clear about some stuff that was hidden. And they decided that the best way to deal with the situation was to just walk away because it was some bullshit and they didn't feel like you were worth it. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, like nobody's worth getting yourself all riled up. I mean, not you know what I'm saying, or you didn't feel like they were worth it. Because it's like, there's so many niggas out there, so many bitches out there, who gives a fuck about one? And honey, I ain't never met anybody who I could not forget. Not yet. Not With the exception of Jesus, everybody is forgettable. Okay? But for some strange reason, you're still waiting, and you're really wasting your time. Now, let's see, uh, Aries, what happens with this person who you're waiting for it's like I don't oh I see so basically you're in this situation where you're in this partnership and it's financially based for some of you but you know there is love there okay it looks like both of you are getting something out of an arrangement this looks like you know you know what do we get out of this how can I help you how can you help me um, But there's something that feels kind of cold about this relationship. Somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants somebody else to fly someplace. And somebody doesn't want that to happen because they are afraid that, you know, they're going to be end up, they're going to end up feeling bitter. So now others of you Aries are married and, you know, you just kind of do what you want to do. You know, you have a, um, you have a spouse, a Sagittarius, uh, and, 
you know, you bounce around where you want to bounce around and, you know, so, you know, this might be the, the wife, but this may be the other chick that you're dealing with. So Aries, um, all I need, all I can say is just make sure that you talk to your spouse. Let me get your Oracle reading. The readings are not long because I got to get to cooking, y'all. I got to make some greens and a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, Aries, November 22nd. Gratitude and acceptance are two magic tricks available to us in recovery. No matter who you are, where we are, or what we have, gratitude and acceptance work. We may eventually become so happy that we realize our present circumstances are good. Or we master our present circumstances and then forward into the next set of circumstances. If we become stuck, miserable, feeling trapped and hopeless, try gratitude and acceptance. If we have tried unsuccessfully to alter our present circumstances and have begun to feel like we're beating our head against a brick wall, try gratitude and acceptance. If we feel like all is dark and the night will never end, try gratitude and acceptance. If we feel scared and uncertain, try gratitude and acceptance. If we tried everything else and nothing seems to work, try gratitude and acceptance. If we've been fighting something, try gratitude and acceptance. When all else fails, go back to the basics. Gratitude and acceptance work. Today, God, help me let go of my resistance. Help me know the pain of a circumstance will stop hurting so much if I accept it. Wow. I will practice the basis of gratitude and acceptance in my life and for all my present circumstances. All right. God bless. Oh, if you want a reading, contact me at LibraWoman77 at Yahoo.com. Also, if you want to join the um, empowerment group, you can contact me as well. I am not interested in leading that group, okay? So you have to be willing to facilitate a week, participate in your own empowerment. Okay, because I'm coming to listen. Baby, what you say, what you say. All right, Aries, love you guys. Take care.